Rugby World Cup coming up in well less than about a, or a bit over a year's time now. Is it different playing rugby in European conditions than down here? How do you adjust to that, especially when it's a six weeks in out? Do your best. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but you just adjust the style you play. I think you know Australians were when no one is always attacking and always having a go, so we won't leave anything out there. I guess we'll just have to adjust and the time of the year and the weather, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to to come away with a good performance. You've played some test matches now, uh, you're nearing them the century, but what about your favourite Wallaby moment that you, that you can remember? Ah, geez, that's a tough one. I mean, there's obviously been a lot of special moments um, over the time, but apart from the debut, um, apart from, you know, two World Cups, I think it was probably the Tri-Nations win against the All Blacks at Suncorp Stadium um, in 2011. Um, it was just a special win and the first time that Australian won the, the Tri-Nations in 10 years. Rugby World Cup not far away. You want to be involved. How, how special will that be? Yeah, I think it'd be very special. It's sort of the pinnacle of the, of the game is to play in a Rugby World Cup. And, you know, in England, the home of the game, um, to play at Twickenham and some massive matches uh, would, be, would be something pretty special. Was it always a dream to play for Australia? Definitely. I mean, uh, came late, but uh, made the most of it. You've played plenty of test matches now. What's it like as a senior player meeting the young blokes? Oh, always entertaining. Got something new to uh, show us. What's the most exciting thing about being a Wallaby? Do you get surprised at all? Oh, just the honour and the privilege of donning on that gold jersey.